Hey, what's up, you guys? As you can see, I'm back in my home, uh, and I'm actually in the kitchen because my bedroom is kind of a mess right now with unpacking of everything and, um, you know, just cleaning and things like that. Um, but I will be back in that, you know, familiar in front of the window setting pretty soon. Um, so today I have my Ipsy unbagging, and I also have just a few updates. I guess I'll start with the updates first because there are not that many. Um, I have a few videos being planned. I have like a makeup kind of uh, dresser top collection video coming, and uh, as well as, you know, maybe some other things. I don't know. You should leave requests down below of what you want to see because uh, right now I'm kind of not too sure what to make and stuff. Uh, that wasn't really much of an update, was it? Anyway, um, I'm gonna hop right into the Ipsy I'm begging. I actually was really bad this month and looked inside, um, like, a few days ago, uh, before I decided that I was gonna film. So I actually already know what's in here, but I did save all the packaging and everything, and I'm gonna do it as if it were a actual unboxing. So let's just hop right into it. See how easily that slapped open. I felt really bad. I should have waited, but I was just too impatient, and it was going to be days before I would be able to film this, so I opened it. The theme is Fresh Picks. Um, it's very spring-like, according to the card, and then on the back it's the same, you know, thing, and then with all the brands down below. Let me just say I'm not too happy with this month's bag, but let's just hop right in. This is the bag. There is a big wasp right by my door, but it's outside, so that's okay. It scared me a little bit. This is the bag. It's made out of, like, that all-natural canvasy material. If you've ever had any EcoTools brushes, it's made out of, like, the material that the EcoTools brush bag is made out of, that, like, canvasy material. But it looks like this. It's really cute for the month of May. Very green and springy. Um, so yeah. The first thing, I think everybody got this in their bags. It's the Hang 1050 Classic Sport Natural Sunscreen. And it looks like this. And it's made by Kula, which we've had before in this brand, but I or in this bag. But I really like the color of the bottle. It's like very colorful neon with like feet prints and this is a one ounce size so it's a very good sample size SPF 50 sunscreen I don't know what my hair is doing over here can you tell I haven't filmed in a while I'm just like everything setting me off <laughs> um the next thing that I have in here is a Eau Thermale spring water thermal spring water I've never used like hand water before, but uh, supposedly you're supposed to spray it on any like skin irritations according to the directions. Uh, you can use it on eczema, which I have, so that would be awesome. It says you can use it on sunburns, uh, facial redness, diaper irritations, razor burn after hair removal, uh, to complete makeup removal after exercise in summer during travel for eczema. You can use this for pretty much anything. I did spray this on my eczema when I first opened it, and it did feel really nice, but I don't really think it did a whole lot, so, I mean, I'll have to probably keep trying this, but this is also a 50 milliliter size, so it'll be a good sample size. Um, I have a Balanced Guru No Frizz Oil for your hair. Um, it comes in this little, like, Container with the colors, um, and it looks like this. It's got a little dropper, which I have never had a product that comes with a with a dropper before, so I'm a little bit scared. But it's supposed to balance your frizzy hair, and it's got sesame oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, lemongrass, eucalyptus, and tamanu oil. So this will be really cool to try because I do have naturally frizzy hair. So I'm really excited about this. And then there's only two makeup products in this month's bag, which I'm really upset about because I love ma getting makeup more than hair and body stuff. So 
But there's only two, and one of them, which is this one, is kind of crappy quality. Uh, it's from Pacifica, and it's a uh, eyeshadow duo, and it's Duo 2. So, uh, there's I think there's like a pink and champagne one, which I would have liked more. But then there's this purple and whitish one. And I can't open the cap anymore because the cap keeps breaking when you open it more than this. Um, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and swatch these. I've already swatched them, so I kind of know the quality of what we're going to be looking at here. The purple is, like, not that pigmented at all. And the white's okay, but there's a lot of fallout from it. I don't know. I probably won't use these colors, but that's what they look like. They're very powdery. I mean, they're soft to the touch. They're not, like, buttery or anything. They're no, like, Too Faced shadow, but... There's a lot of fallout, and it takes a lot to build up. I don't know. Maybe it'll be different with a brush, but we'll see. And then the last thing that I got is from Boo Boo Cover Up, and it's a concealer. This is, like, probably the product that I'm most excited about in this bag, um, just because you can never have enough concealer. Uh, and this is... I don't think there's a color. I think it's just this one shade. But it looks like this. It comes in this big tube. Like, that's a lot of concealer. This is... 0.34 ounces of concealer. I don't know. Maybe it's just the fact that it's in a tube. It makes it look longer. I don't know. Um, but this is what it looks like. Let me just squeeze some out. It's very, like, that's what it looks like. And we'll just kind of blend it in. It's very, like, kind of yellowy. An orangey. I don't think it really matches. I might probably use this for like spot concealing, like acne or something, because I do that before my foundation. So if it's a little bit mismatched, my foundation will kind of balance that out. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to try this, see how it works on the face and all. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of the box, um, or bag, I guess. Um, Overall, I'm not really too thrilled with this month's bag. I mean, I like that there's sunscreen. You can always have sunscreen. I like that there's the oil. I'm not too keen on the water or the eyeshadow, and the concealer is just, you know, kind of so-so. Uh, I really was expecting more makeup because I did look on the Glam Room, and what I could have gotten, there's a lot more makeup items than just the skin items. So, uh, yeah, I'm not too impressed. I have to say this month's bag is probably like a six or seven, just because there's not, I mean, I like the bag design, but just the products overall are just kind of not too impressive. Uh, so, yeah, that was my Ipsy Unbagging for May. Uh, if you like this video, you should give it a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed to Ipsy, it's $10 a month, and you get a cute little bag filled with products delivered to your door in a precious pink mailer. And I will leave my referral link below so you can go and click that and sign yourself up. Uh, so, uh, yeah. If you got, well, I already said that. I'm sorry. I'm still kind of like, bleh. <laughs> uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.